There's three examples, one, two, three, of books that I recently sourced at a thrift store that are going to go on eBay and are potentially longer tail, higher profit books. So I'm gonna talk about how I researched them and decided to buy them. Side note, I also picked up both of these DVDs, this sealed, it's sealed inside, Dolph Lundgren movie called The Tracker, Revenge Never Stops. This one I'll sell for five bucks in my store. And this one, Sabina, which I've never seen before, which is <clears throat> apparently pretty rare, fairly rare. And I'll sell that for $7 in my store. I picked those up as well. But as I was there, I went through some of the books, the nonfiction books. I stick to the nonfiction books. They usually put out new ones every week. There's some, there's some new titles out. So these are the three that I found. Older hardcover. This one, uh, Spiral Bound. And then this one here, this paperback, larger paperback. So this first one, first of all, the thing that gets my attention number one when I see a book is the topic. So this one, I don't know who Vanner is, but Vanner's How-To Guide to Murals, Painting, and Pinstriping. So the word that really stood out to me here was pinstriping. Because the How-To Guide to, to Painting is not really very specific. Now murals is better. But when you put pinstriping, which I don't even know what that means, it sounds very specific, very niche, something that people would be willing to pay up for and potentially would be a harder to find book. So once I established that, and this is by Keith Sessions, not sure who that is, but once I establish that, then I will look it up. So with this type of book, I first looked, I first looked on eBay, even though when you look in here, this book, you can see 1976, there's an ISBN. There's enough light, there's an ISBN. So once I looked it up on eBay, then I looked it up on Amazon using the ISBN. And um, it turns out on eBay, this one had two, currently has two offers for $40, right around 40 bucks, I believe free shipping. Uh, however, the two offers have no photos. So the person that listed them uh, didn't bother to to take photos or even use a stock image if there is one, which there's probably not. And uh, that means to me that I will have the advantage by taking pictures of this, not just the cover, not just the front back cover, that kind of thing, but as many as I feel are worth it. So, uh, you know, I'll take, I don't know, half a dozen or so photos, especially if there, which I know there are, there's a lot of um, drawings or rather photos in there. I'll take pictures of those. So. That's, a num that's also something I know that I'm going to be standing out with. Uh, and then the good thing was that, of course, it was going for 40 bucks. So I looked on Amazon. There's one copy going for $33, uh, but the book has no sales rank. So there's no sales rank. Which means that this book hasn't sold on Amazon. Just in case you didn't know, if there's no sales rank, that's what it means. If there's a sales rank, then it's sold at least once. And depending on how high that sales rank is, you can kind of figure out if you don't have Keepa, which is K-E-E-P-A, to look up how uh, or when it last sold, you can get a general idea. So this one doesn't have a sales rank, hasn't sold on Amazon in the last 90 days, has not sold on eBay. Now, however, the thing I like is there's only one copy on Amazon, only two copies on eBay. Uh, and they're both going for, uh, at least the ones on eBay for 40 bucks, the one on Amazon is $33. Now, when I looked on Abe Books, when you're looking up collectible, uh, more, more, they're not always long tail, but the typically long tail, higher profit books, more rare books, I'll put it that way, more rare collectible books. They might not be, someone might not be getting this for collection purposes, but more rare books, um, you're going to want to see less copies and higher prices. So if this book was going for $15 on both Amazon and eBay or under 20, I wouldn't bother. But because it's going for $40 and 33, it's more interesting to me. Now I looked on ebooks, abebooks.com. I recommend using that site as well as a place to see if you can find a copy of a particular book and number two, what it's going for. You can't see, uh, at least just using the website, I don't know about if there's an app or not for eBooks, let me know if there is. 
but you can't see, as far as I know, uh, solds, like what has sold, but I still get an idea. So on A Books, there is there are six currently six copies of this book, $40 and up. Um, so again, it's about a $40 book currently if you want to get a copy other than Amazon, which is 33 So all of those things um, say to me that it's worth, worth trying to resell. And as you can see, I only got it for 99 cents. So for 99 cents, I'm going to list it for 40 bucks on eBay, taking offers. I'm going to promote it a little bit as well, 5%. And I will see uh, when it sells because I feel confident it'll sell because of the higher prices across the board as well as no pictures, uh, only two copies on eBay, and they're not taking offers. So the sellers didn't bother to upload a photo, and that's, I believe, detrimental to selling a, an item. Now this book is what I would call the flyer of the three. So taking a flyer, meaning for 79 cents, cents I'm willing to do it. Um, there's not as much information on this one as there is on the as there are in the other two. Uh, the only of, of between Amazon, eBay, and Aba Books, there was only one copy that I found, and it was on Amazon, and it's going for fifteen dollars. Now, there's no sales rank. And there's not even a picture of the book. So there's no pictures that I could find on the internet of this book. Now this is how to install, I think it's Congolium. Is it, con I believe so. If I'm wrong, let me know. Uh, how to install Congolium sheet vinyl floors. It's from the actual company, the cutting edge, focus on installation. So it's a book, obviously, like it says, with photos and, and directions about how to install this particular type of floor. I'm not familiar with flooring in detail anyway so I don't know this is still being used because I did Google it uh, there's YouTube videos there's information about it the company's still around so uh, I don't know if it's still popular but um, you know as popular maybe as before but nonetheless for 79 cents I'm willing to take it um, and put it on eBay for 39.99 taking offers I'm gonna promote it a lower percentage 3% because there's no other copy on there and um, there's no, there's no pictures of it. So I will take anywhere, even on Amazon. So even though it's only 15 bucks there and it's never sold, it uh, apparently, well, I don't know if it's ever been on eBay, but it's not currently on eBay. And uh, sometimes you'll be able to find photos of it. I even, you know, online on Google image search for past listings uh, on eBay. And nothing popped up when I put the title in with book next to it. Um, so I'm gonna list this one and see if it will move. And I think that this one, it's funny though, I feel like this one could take longer, but at the same time, I feel like there's a chance because it's so functional that someone might be immediately looking for something like this, that it could sell uh, even quicker than, than the, the Vanner one there. We'll see. This one is a little different because it has an actual barcode on the back, even though this one has an ISBN, but this one is really easy to scan. So I can look it up super quickly, um, a larger, paperback here called Selling the Gold, History of Sunkissed and Pure Gold, Citrus Roots, Our Legacy. So this one I bought for $1.50, and the reason I was willing to spend that much money on it is because Amazon showed me, let's see, there's current, the lowest price on Amazon right now is $40. There's nine copies, most of which are used merchant fulfilled or fulfilled by merchant uh, copies. And, um, did I say the rank? 6.5 6 million rank. In the last 12 months, there's been two sales. So two sales in one year. So that's good. Um, and the price is pretty high. Now, over on eBay, there's only one copy for $63, no offers, a stock picture from a mega seller. Zuber, I believe, is the, is the seller, which is someone that sells. It's a giant seller. They probably have a warehouse or warehouses. And um, they find books like this. They just put a stock image or whoever's working for them puts a stock image and they just move it on. They price it high because they see that it's a high price book and they have the only copy. Um, but they don't take offers, which I don't understand. But whatever. Uh, so that's good for me. And then on Abe Books, so remember, $40 Amazon minimum, $63 eBay, only one. On Abe Books, there's six copies, and the lowest one is 20 bucks, and then it jumps up to a $40 copy, 
and it goes up from there uh, all, all the way into the, I believe the hundreds, but only six copies. So, uh, so for me, it makes sense to list it not on Amazon, but on eBay. The reason why, or the reasons why is number one, I can take photos, actual photos of it, um, not a stock photo, show the condition, show um, uh, pictures of you know, the photos in here that will entice people to potentially buy it, and also price it more realistically, where I'll price it at $49.99 um, plus shipping, taking offers, and I'll promote it at 5%, and I feel pretty confident that it'll sell uh, based on that it has sold on Amazon a couple of times and that I'm taking offers and I have pictures. So that's my thought process on these particular books, but it kind of, you know, it applies to um, long tail, higher profit books in general. It's always research, doing your research on these books because there's just endless, endless books that you'll find um, when you're outsourcing and there's no way you could possibly know even most of them. <laughs> I've been reselling books uh, for this year will be 10 years and I'm always finding new books. I haven't never sold those three books before, never come across them. So that's why you need to be able to find the ones that are worth looking up, which takes time to build that, that feel for that and then uh, use the information at your fingertips. That's why I recommend having Amazon and eBay. If you only have eBay, it's kind of, it's not that you can't do it, but it's a little harder, especially with the books that have barcodes. Uh, you know, you can scan them really quick if they have an ISBN or a barcode. You can use the data on Amazon as a jumping off point, unless it's a book like this that doesn't have that. Then you can, uh, you can still look it up on Amazon. You just have to type it in or use the voice prompt and um, look it up that way. But when you have the data, the sales rank, so how many times has it sold, what are the prices, what's the competition, all that kind of stuff, uh, it helps you a lot versus on eBay, which takes a little bit longer. But then, you know, if it, it doesn't, if it's looking good on Amazon, you can look it up on eBay, look it up on eBooks, get a good idea. And this is how I find these books and we'll see, I'll list these soon and we'll see in the next, you know, I don't know, however long. <laughs> Uh, which ones sell first, number one, and, and what they go for. So hopefully this helped you guys out. Let me know if you have any questions or comments about the process or any more information to add. Thanks, guys. See you in the next video. Take care.